Welcome to the Weather Dudes. That's the dudes, not dogs. Dudes. I said Weather Dudes. dudes. Yeah, no. I said it kind of weird. He turned to some stupid accent in there. Come on. This week we weather. We went and seen Hunger Games: Mock and Jay Part One. Part One. Part One. That means there's probably gonna be a part two. Well, I mean, after this movie, I'm not, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, this movie is about you remember the last one that they only got her. Now they're trying to make her into some kind of symbol, mom, symbol of the rebels taking on the rich people of the hope. Yeah, the symbol of the hope to yeah. move on and rebel and become a better system. I guess you know. So and the whole world's crumbling. We're fighting wars back and forth. And they're trying to convince her to be this character. And, and she, she, she keeps she's defying the fact to want to be this character. Okay, that's what the movie's about. Uh, this, I want to say I really had high hopes for this movie. But then it just, it just somehow, some reason, this movie just did not meet the expectations at all for anything. Compared to the first two, this scene that missed it by a mile for me. I was like in there watching it. I don't think she was up to par in her acting. I, I was not convinced that she liked being this character at all. I was convinced that I the was. The first two, she was yeah, convinced me she that was she convinced. was this character. Yeah, exactly. And this this one, one, I was going. She had this what? battle of like, okay, I'll be a Mocking Jay, but you know what? Now that this is happening, I want to be Mocking Jay. I'll be a Mocking Jay again, but now I don't want to. It's like, as the character herself didn't know what she wanted to do. It's like watching a politician waffle on the issues. I I just didn't think there was enough kick in this movie for me to say, ooh. Yeah. And it's, it's really sad, because it is number one in the box office, and that's because everybody expected this movie to be like, the, wow. Yeah. It was well, the wow factor in the movie. I'm sorry. I, got, I can name three of these. This year already, there are more wow factors than this one was. And, you know, the problem is they made the last book into two movies more money. That's all the problem was. They made it more money, and so I think everybody's kind of... So it kind of dragged. Yeah, it drags on. Dragged it out. Funny, so I, just just... Didn't, I just didn't think the storyline was where I wanted it to be, and I... I... I think it Definitely took, she was not up to part of that. I think it took too long to get to where it needed to be at the end of the movie. It just yeah. got, took too long. The so. cool part, they did keep all the same characters in it. Even the one who died. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah. yeah, luckily he was still... Yeah, this, he was still enough to make the least... But the special sure, effects are still there. I'm not going to say the special effects ones are, you know. It's still just, there, you know, and everything. And then I think they, they just lost some kind of... Something lost. just got lost in the shuffle. It did. This is like one of those ones where there's a transition period of a sad movie, a bad movie... See, the thing to is... To make a killer I don't, next movie. I don't want to say it was... A horrible movie. Parts of the movie were necessary, it's just it didn't need to be its, its own movie, its own entity, you know what I'm saying? The points and problems are It wasn't to up to par. Yeah. To the first two. Okay, maybe they had a point they had to make, but just. It took too long to it make it. It took too long, I don't know what it was. I, yeah. I really can't tell you. All I can tell you is that didn't give me what I was asking for. It is number one in the box, I said. Well, I mean, that's. Dumber, dumber, drop the number four. four. You know what that means? Next week, they won't even be on the shots. Yeah, let's hope so. <laughs> let's hope so. That's for Stellar sure. Stellar's still hanging number three. And Big Hero 6 is number two, so I mean, kill so, the who's got the standing ground here? Those two have the standing ground. They're still in the top three for And they've been out, three they've been out three, three weeks now, so. Dumber's been out one week, and it's already dropped down to number four. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to move on to the weathering, Mike. You know, the thing about the Dumber and Dumber thing, everybody wanted to see it right at the beginning, and then it dropped off because of critics and everything. Everybody go, oh boy, this is a stupid, this is actually not just, just dumb, but very stupid. I think this movie's going to do the same thing. I feel like everybody went and saw it this first weekend. Yeah, and it's it's like, a good kick it was considered the movie of the year. You're going to see it first. And I think it's going to drop down to like the number three spot next week. You watch. Yeah, I, I don't doubt that whatsoever. I mean, yeah. it didn't have the caliber. It doesn't have the caliber whatsoever. Yeah, like, so let's move on to the weather in this movie. Oh, I, cloudy, like I'm going to say, first. I really say cloudy day and that good high screen I'm going to probably give it. That's only because I've seen that. That means own it on Blu-ray, watch it, don't see it in the theater. I'd have to agree with him. I would cloudy day. It's good to own because you have the collection. This, I, I don't think it's a thing movie. I think it's a transition to move to the next book, to the next part two on this. The transition was very sloppy, very slow, very boring. Yeah. Okay, next week, we'll another, another movie for you. Have a happy Thanksgiving in between, though, you guys. Oh, yeah, Turkey Day. You mean I see us then? Well, we'll see what happens. You know. We'll figure it out. Yeah.